A little bit about the match, obviously, uh, going down early. Um, you needed to kind of regather uh, the way you guys wanted to play and, and eventually got into the flow of the game and came back. But um, just talk a little bit about the first half and then what you need to do in the second. One of the things we always want to do in every game is be plus one in dead balls and win the first 20 minutes. And here we were down and minus one on dead balls. And uh, so that's very disheartening. And, and it took us a while to get going. And, and I thought, man, I, you know, I hope that they don't get a second one. So we were able to kind of stumble along and get on our feet a little bit and, and then roll into the game a little. So I, I felt like uh, once we settled in and, and their pressure wasn't uh, hurting us as much, I felt good about our chances from there. Yeah, I thought that the Hastings had a lot of pressure that kind of got, put you guys in an awkward position defensively. Um, then when the, same, the game started to get a little bit further on, you could tell the legs started to get pretty tired playing so many games in five days. Talk a little bit about what you guys had to do defensively and, and really around the field to get the win. Well, we, we knew that we were going to have tired legs, but we knew they would as well. And um, uh, one of the things that happened along the game, though, was that we had three injuries. Carl went out and, and, and Eddie went out and Philip was in his, his strong. And so we were struggling with that. And, but I think in a way, those injuries kind of helped us because the players that we put in hadn't played three games in four days. You know, this was a fresh, you know, they played a little bit, so they went in and actually gave us a lot of energy and I think gave us a little bit of a boost. We talked about on the broadcast and even all week, game-changing plays, and it's gonna come down to individual individual performance on the field, and obviously we got that, you guys got that out of Maloto. Um, just talk a little bit about how special of a player he is and getting that goal, basically doing the work himself to, to create the opportunity and then finish, and he did it in the, in the last couple games as well. This is our fifth overtime game of the season. In none of those overtimes have we given up a shot. And we won all of them in the first overtime. And uh, Lebo Gang, I mean, I knew he was so tired. He had his hands on his hips and we asked him, do you need a breather? And he kept saying, no, no. And just a lot of heart. And when you combine that kind of heart with that kind of talent, that's a special player.